Of course, immigration is one of our top headlines. Cartel members now reportedly intercepting groups of desperate migrants trying to cross at ports of entry using the CBP-1 app. Uh, this was something pushed by the Biden administration. Uh, Border Patrol agents telling News Nation instead of guiding migrants to the ports, uh, really, they're actually listening to the cartels instead. And so they're believing what the cartels are telling them to cross at another point through the river, and then Border Patrol would be there on the other side to receive them so they can ask for asylum. But this is all an attempt to control the flow of thousands and thousands of people who are trying to cross into the United States and be a deflection or a distraction while they presume their smuggling activity, whether it's drugs or people. Pinal County Sheriff Mark Lamb, he knows about all of this too well. He's also running in the Republican primary in Arizona's 2024 Senate race. Uh, Sheriff, good morning to you. Uh, it's always enlightening to talk to somebody who's there at the border, seeing this in real time. Is the fact that the, the cartel is capitalizing on this new app, just adding another problem to the sheer number of people trying to cross illegally. How big of a problem is this? Well, thank you for having me on, and it's a huge problem. Look, this problem, they, they've ignored it for the last few weeks, really since Title 42 went away. Uh, the, the government has been really trying to ignore this problem, yet it hasn't gone away. It's continued to be just as bad as it's always been uh, over the last two years. And the cartels are taking advantage of people. I've been telling people for a long time, this is not about immigration. This is about human trafficking and drug trafficking into America. And the cartels are gonna make sure that they get their money no matter what. And if that involves using the CBP app to do it, that's what they'll do. They're taking advantage of these people that are trying to come here to America to make a better life. They're not doing it the right way. The cartels are encouraging them to do it the wrong way. This administration is encouraging them to do it the wrong way. Um, we've got a lot of things we've got to fix, but the problem has definitely not gone away. Many are pointing to the numbers. You mentioned Title 42 and the fact that, you know, perhaps this was a victory for the Biden administration. The number of the thousands of people trying to cross illegally has gone down since May when the expiration of Title 42 happened. But when I look at what's happening with the cartel being able to somehow capitalize on this app and the fact that they know now where people are going to try to cross and try to divert traffic, do we not have a clear picture of how many people are indeed coming into this country? No, we don't have a clear picture. And the CBP-1 app is one of those tools they use to make it unclear for the American people so that the American people don't understand just how bad this problem is. The numbers are still up over 200,000. And frankly, the numbers always go down in June and July and August because these are the hottest months of the year. So they're taking advantage of that as well. The reality is this is still a major problem. We still have pursuits almost every day. We're still finding people in vehicles. We found five adults and two babies in a car just uh, yesterday or the day before, 40 pounds of cocaine, 100 pounds of methamphetamines. This is continuing, and I'm not even right on the border. So, yes, this is still a major problem, and the cartels are taking advantage of us. You're running under the GOP ticket for Senate uh, there in Arizona. I know that other members of your party uh, throughout the nation, they, they are actually serious about sending the U.S. military to fight the cartels in Mexico. What are your thoughts about that? Well, look, first of all, Arizona and America needs a proven conservative fighter, which is why I'm in this race. And hopefully anybody listening will come support me at um, uh, SheriffLamperSenate.com. What I have said all along is these, need, these organizations need to be declared the terrorist organizations that they are. They strike terror into the fear of the hearts and the, they strike fear and terror into the hearts of the people trying to come here. They also strike terror and fear into the hearts of the people who have lost loved ones to fentanyl poisonings and other drugs. So they are terrorist organizations. Now, I don't know that we need to storm into Mexico, but we need to engage Mexico as a partner and identifying these cartels as drug, as terrorists gives us a lot more flexibility to work with Mexico to deal with them um, because these cartels are getting bigger and bigger and more and more dangerous by the day, which is why we need to stop them now. I want to ask you about the barbed wire that's been placed along several portions of the border. Uh, there are some city leaders, uh, some leaders in your state of Arizona who are against that. They want that wire taken down. What do you think about that? Well, I don't think much about it. I don't think they should take it down. And those are the leaders that are sit comfortable in their own homes, uh, not worrying about whether people are coming into their backyards. These are folks down in Texas and Arizona who are struggling because everybody's, these people are flowing into their properties and into their backyards 
posing a major threat to them and their families, not to mention a major threat to Americans every day. Look, Americans, Arizonans and Americans are tired of this. And we're not going to, we don't want to hear what these people that just live in their comfy little homes have to say about it. Like uh, we see in the East Coast, where they say they want to be sanctuary cities, but as soon as those people start showing up on their doorstep, all of a sudden they're not so welcoming anymore. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.